Hello friends, it's Monday the 20th of May 2019. Welcome back to a garden named Bill. Well, as we begin, let me please be honest with you. It's actually the evening of Sunday the 19th when I'm filming this. I've got a busy day tomorrow, so I thought I'd come out uh, in between the rain, because it's supposed to be rainy on tomorrow, and we've got this nice overcast, so again, good light in the garden. And as you can see right behind me right away, I, you know, things have changed. I've got the arched trellis up right away, and actually, you can see it really well in this frame, and it's the most important part of the overview, essentially. I mounted it for permanence, um, and look at this. Oh, that is not moving. That is not moving. This is not going to fall this year. What I did differently, and I'll probably put a video out on this, but these, last year it was just sticking these in the ground, and that was it. This year, they are anchored in, and essentially I've got a giant triangle here for support, screwed in at the bottom of the poles, and then I have buttresses, just like you see in cathedrals or other old fortified buildings, buttresses that have about a three to one uh, rise to run, and, um, they're holding it really well. So screwed up here, screwed at the bottom, nice and sturdy. I'm very, very excited. So, like I said, I'll probably do a, a video just on that later in the season when, like, stuff is growing up on it and it looks really, really cool. So, in the meantime, let me give you your panoramic overview shot. So to the left of me, behind me, and to the right of me, I've got raspberries that are all totally green. Below me here, you can just see the top of a rhubarb. Um, I actually have some corn that's popping up in the rows over here, and I have six sunflowers that have started. There's so much spinach coming in here that it's topping off uh, where you can see. That's going really nicely. The trellis is up. That took some time. Uh, the snap peas are climbing up it already. And I still have, you know, some of my buckets and things hanging out here. This is what I was meaning when I said that the raspberries are all totally green and you can kind of make out all of the peaks through that. I finished the fence from here to here. It looks very, very attractive from the front. Peekaboo! Been playing that a lot with our nine-month-old daughter, good old object permanence. She would laugh at that if you're not laughing. Anyways, you see the rhubarb is really huge. One of my tasks for the week ahead uh, all around me are still these little raspberry um, plants that are starting to shoot up. I said last week I was going to give those to friends. I had two people who uh, want a lot of them. And I said I was going to do it on Wednesday and I ended up not. So it's still on my to-do list to pull those out nicely, wrap up their roots, and send them to friends. But I just wanted to show you how big, you know, this rhubarb is. I've been using so much of it. I think I've already used about 2,000 grams so far this season, and it just keeps producing. I've got really, really healthy crowns. So you can see to the left of me here, this is all said and done. I, I ended up going around with wire, and that's how I affixed these to the rods. And those are all underneath the buttresses, screwed in place, etc., etc. And I've got my peas climbing up it. I didn't have time to finish this the other night, and I wanted to show you what it looks like. Essentially, all I have to do is unscrew the buttresses, slide the wire down, re-screw the buttresses, and then anchor them along the poles. That'll take me like 20 minutes or so if I'm putzing. I just haven't gotten around to it. And also, it's been really, really cool here. Uh, today's high was only 49 degrees and it's drizzling. So it's been on and off for really cool weather or moderate weather. And I haven't planted my uh, pumpkins and my butternut squash and uh, those kind of things yet because I just don't think they'd be coming up. Anyways, that's on my docket this week too. To the right, we've got spinach, which looks fantastic. To the left, we have ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba, we have zucchini that are coming up. I planted three seeds and I've got one, two, three of them. So complete germination. I will uh, thin that out and have one very hardy plant growing in here. In a similar fashion to the barrels, which I put a video out on this week, by the way, um, all of these little soda bottles and milk containers are doing a nice job starting the sunflower seeds. And I think I have half a dozen of them germinated and looking really nice like so. I'm going to keep these on until they're just about to the top because last year I had some varmints chew them until they got to a certain height. And I'm not letting that happen again. 
Well, you can see down here we've got a great big bumblebee who is doing his job pollinating the gooseberry bush. In fact, I can see three more inside here. You can hear them when they move. They're so beautiful. I wish I could get a better shot for you. Anyways, um, as you look at the bumblebee, you can see the uh, florets on the gooseberry have all closed up. They've all been pollinated. And now, whoopsies, focus. Hold on, let's see, how about I focus? Yeah, there we go. You can see that uh, they're starting to form the actual berries, those little spheres at the, uh, the apex of the bud. Those are the gooseberries, so they're just going to fatten up now week after week. Mint is a weed, and it will survive anything. Uh, I ripped this out very haphazardly as I was planting the asparagus bed, and it took to this tiny pot just fine. I hope the sucker gets root-bound and fills this up and never ever dies. Additionally, well not really additionally, but over here, okay fine, this is just a weird camera shot, but let's just do it. I put down some soil acidifier for both the lingonberries and the blueberries. It looks like a lot, but that's what the packaging said to do. Uh, this is pretty neutral soil, and it's going to bring it down to a pretty low pH now, hopefully around 4.5. I said this in passing earlier, but when you get down here, you can really tell that all of the peas have taken to the trellis and they are beginning to climb. I think you get the idea at this angle. Uh, here in the root bed area, everything's coming up really nicely. You can see all of the beets. Beets are so beautiful because they have these real dark burgundy um, shoots underneath their leaves. You can always tell what a beet looks like. And the radishes, I thinned them out last week and, and they've filled in that space. So I'm glad I did it when I did it. Um, these are going to be big real soon. And this week now, behind me here, the carrots are big enough that I can pick them and I can thin them, I think, without uh, damaging all of them. So that's a week ahead task, as well as a highlight. And over here, all of the cauliflower are beginning to grow. And I'm certain that this week I'll see some of the, um, what is it, cucumber seeds popping up there. And that'll begin to climb the trellis very, very soon. And let's see, it hasn't been a whole month yet. In fact, uh, it's only been 20 days. But the potatoes are growing and they're doing really well. Let me bring you in so you can see what it looks like. In fact, through the magic of the camera, I won't even cheat it with a cut. Don't mind my cord. We've got potatoes down here in the corner. Yeah, awesome. So there's where one of the potatoes was. And you can see, yep, it's growing just fine, shooting on up. It's like that throughout the bed. Without going over here to talk specifically, I was worried about planting the tomatoes and the peppers when I did, but they've all done just fine. I mean, look at that. That's a store-bought tomato from the greenhouse, and it's gorgeous. In fact, I already trimmed off the bottom leaves on both of the store-bought tomatoes. Uh, the peppers are doing really well. In fact, they're all growing. They're bigger than they were last week. And way over there in the corner, those are the tomatoes that I started that I thought for sure were going to die. Within a week and a half, they've become dark green and they are starting to grow. So I'm going to stake them this week and encourage them uh, to grow on a small stake towards these big stakes where they will hopefully climb all summer. Same with the uh, tomatoes down in this corner. But I was worried about them, and it turns out my fears weren't necessarily founded. All of the fruit trees are gorgeous, but this peach tree is particularly so. And I think the focus is on my face now, but I've got, you know, seven or eight little buds where the peaches are going to be. And I think I'll let a few of them go to fruit. I don't mind if I get half a dozen peaches on this tiny one, especially if they're on the main stalks here. I don't think it's going to rip off any of the new growth. Um, I'll keep an eye on that, but it's, it's so pretty. So ever since I put the spreader, which is just right below you on, uh, gosh, this peach tree just looks so, so gorgeous. And as promised, here's a shot of the entire fence from the right of the door all the way to the left corner is complete and done and it feels fantastic and it looks so pretty, don't you think? I just love that purple and it's amazing looking from the street. Now what I have left to do is over here, that extends towards the end and I'll take care of that over the next week or two. I'm, I'm uh, gonna put a little less emphasis on that. I wanna get it done, of course, and I will get it done 
but from the street, it looks done. You know what I mean? So it feels really good. So this was a quick video, I know, but like I said earlier, I've got some stuff to do and I still wanted to make sure I came every week with a garden tour to you. I'm going to do it this year. I know I petered out at the end after like week 14 or 15 and it got to be like every other week. That's not going to happen this year. Um, so good changes. I feel really great about the arch and I'm excited about the fence and everything that's growing. It's, you know, despite the cool weather, it's already very beautiful in here. It's hard to believe that it's only the 20th of May. And most people don't even have a garden planted yet in my area and they won't for another couple weeks. So I feel good about myself. Anyways, how's your garden going? Thank you everybody who leaves a comment and lets me know what you're growing and where you are. That's so exciting. I think what I'm going to do in June, and you can let me know what you think about this, but I would like to do a viewer submission video. Uh, so maybe for the first two weeks in June, uh, I will ask people to send me pictures or short videos of how their garden looks and, and some of the highlights of what they're growing. And I will put those files together and maybe mid month we'll do a viewer submission video. So like a good idea. Let me know if you like that, leave a like and uh, tell me so in the comments down below. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Have a wonderful week, happy growing, and until next time, take care.